Okay, hi there. I've had quite a few uh, requests from students to take you through a worked example of comparative advantage, which shows how two countries in theory can gain from specialisation and trade. So here's an example I've worked out and uh, hopefully it'll make sense for you. Feel free to pause the, the video at any time to take a snapshot and do the numbers yourself. Let's consider two countries, Germany and South Korea. They each have 100,000 workers and a fixed amount of capital, land and other inputs allocated evenly initially between the two products. And we'll take LCD screens and electric or e-vehicle chargers. So this is a classic example of two countries who in theory might gain from specialisation first of all and then from trade in two products across borders. So here's our table, our matrix table. And for the exam, it's important just to have one example that you know works, so you don't have to go through the whole rigmarole of working it out in the exam itself. You simply don't have time. Germany can produce 600 LCD screens per week, 450 vehicle chargers. South Korea, 1,200 LCD screens, 600 chargers. So South Korea has the absolute advantage. They can produce more of both, but we need to work out the comparative advantage. Before we do that, the total output initially of LCD screens is 1,800 per week. The total output of charges is 1,050. OK, moving on to comparative advantage. Well, the key to this is opportunity cost. How many, uh, for example, how many uh, LCD screens a country has to give up if they produce more vehicle charges? For Germany, the ratio is 600 to 450. So if they produce an extra e-vehicle charger, they have to give up 600 divided by 450 to give up 1.3 screens. Whereas for South Korea, if they made the same decision, if they focused on e-vehicle chargers, they'd have to give up two screens per vehicle charger. So therefore, the opportunity cost is lower for Germany if it decides to specialise in, in vehicle chargers. Therefore, Germany has the comparative advantage, the comparative advantage in e-vehicle chargers. Let's look at it the other way. The opportunity cost for Germany of increasing LCD screens. Well, if they give up 450 vehicle charges, they get 600. So they're giving up 0.75 vehicle charges per uh, LCD screen. Whereas for South Korea, they only have to give up half an e-vehicle charger to get an extra LCD screen. Therefore, the opportunity cost is lower for South Korea if they choose to produce LCD screens. Therefore, South Korea has the comparative advantage in LCD screens. OK, so on that basis, South Korea will shift some resources into LCD screens. Germany will shift resources into e-vehicle chargers. In other words, they will specialise. So now we need to show the gains from specialisation. We're going to assume that there are constant returns to scale. And of course, once you change that assumption, once you challenge that assumption, you might get a different result. It's one of the simplifying assumptions of this famous model. So let's say Germany stops producing LCD screens. They have the absolute advantage, disadvantage, sorry. So they, they're probably better, better focusing on what they do relatively best, which is e-vehicle chargers. Germany doubles production of e-vehicle chargers, but, but stops producing LCD screens. So they go down from 600 to zero on LCD, but they can add 450 vehicle chargers, takes them up to 900. South Korea, well, they part specialise, let's say they sacrifice 400 vehicle chargers, they go down to 200 there. That means they can double 800 extra LCD screens, so they can go from 1,200 to 2,000, they can add 800. Two for one swap, for South Korea. And that means, of course, in theory, that our total output of both products has gone up. LCD screens has gone up from 1,800 to 2,000. E-vehicle charges from 1,050 to 1,100. So a substantial gain in LCD screens and a, and a useful gain in e-vehicle charges. This increase in the total output of both products is called a gain from specialization based on comparative advantage. Now, we have to show the final bit, which is how these countries might 
gain from trading with each other. So we have to work out, first of all, a mutually beneficial terms of trade. A trade, in this case, of LCD screens for vehicle chargers that benefits both countries. The total outputs at the bottom here, the 2000 and the 1100, they're not going to change. We're simply going to trade, trade the numbers in this part of the table above. Well, let's think about without trade. If Germany didn't trade, it swaps 60 LCD screens for 45 e vehicle chargers. In other words, it gets 1.3 LCD screens for every e vehicle charger. Without trade, South, um, South Korea would get uh, would have to give up two LCD screens to get one extra vehicle charger. So they want to do better than that. Equally, Germany wants to get more than 1.3 LCD screens for every e-vehicle charger. Both countries need to benefit. In which case, mind the gap. Germany's opportunity cost ratio is 1.3 to 1. South Korea's is 2 to 1. There's a gap between these numbers there. There's a gap. And anything which lies in between will work. Let's say 3 for 2. So Germany now gets one and a half um, LCD screens instead of just 1.3. And South Korea only has to give up one and a half LCD screens for every charger instead of two. Both countries benefit because three screens for two chargers lies within the internal opportunity cost ratio for both countries. So let Germany trade with South Korea. With this terms of trade, they will trade three LCD screens for two e-vehicle chargers. Let's see how this might work. So here we are, this is a situation as we stand. Germany has a lot of e-vehicle chargers. Originally it had, what was it, 600 LCD screens, I think, and 450 chargers. It'd be great if they could do better than that. South Korea originally had 1,200 LCD screens and 600 chargers. It would be great if they could both do better than that. Now we trade three for two. So South Korea will be exporting LCD screens to Germany. Germany will be exporting e-vehicle chargers to South Korea at a rate of three for two. Three for two. Here are the numbers. There's more than one right answer. Let me just take you through it. If, for example, South Korea exports 630 LCD screens to Germany, they go up from naught to 630. They went north, they got to 6.30. South Korea goes down from 2,000 to 1,370. So that's a swap. Now, 6.30, the 3 for 2. So 6.30 translates, divide by 3, multiply by 2. That translates to 4.20. So Germany has to give up 4.20 vehicle chargers to get the 6.30 LCD screens. Likewise, South Korea will pick those up. That's the trade. They were on 200, remember, then they got up to 6. 20. Now that is a trade that seems to work. Let's just make sure these numbers add up here. That should up to 100. 1,100 it does. This should up to 2,000 and it does. Happy days. That seems to work. There's more than one answer, but this seems to work. And indeed, if we just make a comparison of pre-specialization and post-trade, the numbers in the corner here, these were the numbers before we specialized. These were the numbers here before we traded. And OK, now we end up with those numbers here. My math isn't great, but 630 is bigger than 600. 480 is bigger than 450. 620 is bigger than 600. 1370 is bigger than um, 1200. The, the trade seems to have benefited South Korea a little bit more. But anyway, all countries, both countries, there's only two countries. Two countries have benefited They've ended up with more LCD screens and more vehicle chargers than they had before. No more resources, just they've traded on the basis of specialization, on the basis of comparative advantage. Both countries are, in theory, better off than they were before. Now, you can develop this analysis using production possibility curves. There is a video on that. I will produce another one, possibly. You can challenge the assumptions can think about why this theory might not work in reality. This is the simplified model of comparative advantage, but hopefully a useful little exercise for showing how two countries in theory can benefit from specialization and their mutually beneficial trade. 
Thank you for joining in.